<laughs> this is this is Harry's first walk. Come on, baby. The first time on a leash. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh, come on. Let's go. This is Harry. He was a small little pup. She, Jenny was pregnant shortly before we left and she just had one single pup and the kids named him Harry because all of our dogs are named after Harry Potter characters. So this is Harry, Ginny, and then we have Draco. So if you know Harry Potter. Hey, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, come on, let's go. <laughs> Gotta get used to the leash. Come on, come on Harry, let's go. Come on. So Ginny is a purebred German Shepherd and then uh, the puppy is mixed with Orbel. But I love, I love that he looks so much like Ginny. They look like little twins. I love German Shepherds. They are such good dogs, so protective and very, very just friendly to their owners. If they know you, they're very friendly, sweet dogs and they're also just extremely protective. Good boy. Good boy. Maybe let Lucas try holding it again. Now that he's not dragging. Yeah, talk to him and just keep telling him to come on and encouraging him. <laughs> yeah, he's getting more used to it. Good girl. Good boy. Liam's turn. <laughs> Keep going, Liam. turn. Hold it tight, sis. Whew, we made it to the top of the hill. And now I'm about dead. Oh, we continue. Does Ginny want some? Muga!
E bagulho. Mugani, Mugani. Ah, eu vou ganhar, eu vou ganhar o TikTok. Deu bunda, jo, 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 quando ganhar tô com a TikTok, vou ganhar. Ah, a tori onga, tori onga, tu. Não vou, não vai tá. Ah, vai tá ganhando, vai na. Oh, ainda não vou ganhar. Já que eu vou ganhar, né? <laughs> Sasa, a nice shady stretch. I'm wearing sunscreen today, but the sun is still pretty crazy. Sasa. We made it back and we have some oranges that we want to pick from this little orange tree that's growing and we're going to go slice them up inside and see how delicious they are. Are you sure they're ripe enough? This tree I planted is mine. You planted it? Yeah. Liam planted this orange tree. And now it's producing some beautiful oranges. Yeah, I think those two yellow ones. Okay, yeah. Pick the one that's, yeah. Liam, do you want to pick the other one? This other yellow one? Wait, maybe this it might be the one I planted. Yeah, this is, I think this is. This is the yellow one. What's the other one? Come pick this other one that's yellow. This one? No. This I'm, one? Yeah. Might be a little sour, but. Just pick it? Yeah. Pick it. Jenny! <laughs> Jenny does not want to go back. Jenny! Come here, Jenny. Jenny? Jenny! <laughs> Jenny, come on, girl. She's not about to listen. Later in the evening, I'm going to give you guys a full tour of the homestead. Um, but I want to wait till it's a little bit cooler. Come try the oranges. They're probably going to be a little bit sour. Are you sure? They're not ripe enough. I don't think. No, we'll figure out. That's when we know. They're ripe. Oh, they're gonna be sour though. Not so much. London, you sample it first. Sample it first. Smell good. Not bad. Mm, a little too sour. A little too Sorry. good. She was fierce, fearless, and wanted one thing and one thing only. Freedom! All right, so it's time to show you guys around the compound now and show you what it's looking like as of lately. I have given a full compound tour a few times and given you guys updates and farm updates, but things are always changing around here and it's been a while, so I will give you guys the full tour. Okay, so starting at the entrance gate, here it is. That's where you enter the compound. So this structure right here, obviously, is not a main part of the house. Um, it's been used as like a storage room and different things in the past. But right now, it is serving its purpose as a Lemiri Farms packaging and processing room for our coffee and for our honey. And now, if you've been here for a while on the channel, you will know that this grass, <laughs> it did not come easily. Um, we had a lot of dirt and just soil around here for a long time, but look how gorgeous the grass is looking now. I 
am obsessed. And all of the trees and things that have been planted are now just looking so beautiful. I wish I knew the names of everything. I don't, so I won't pretend like I do, but it's looking so lush. The grass, I just wanna like roll in it and lay in it and man, I had no idea how tough of a process it was to get grass to just grow from scratch, especially when we had water trouble in the beginning. Like you need a lot of water. And luckily there's been so much rain this past rain season and it continues to rain. We even had rain like the past two days. So everything is just nice and green. And then you guys saw the orange tree earlier. The oranges were so sweet and delicious actually. They needed to ripen up a little bit more, but I also love that they're seedless. Um, let's come over here. We need to scrub all this off just from all the rain and mud and everything. We need to just give this a good scrub down, but yeah, let's move on to this side where George is. Here's our water tank. That could also use a good scrub down from all the rain and everything, but some ducks and chickens wandering around. Here's our mango tree. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is a underground water reservoir tank thing. Is it 60,000 liters that it holds? Yeah, it holds 60,000 liters. So it rainwater channels into here, but we also have um, piped water that comes in the compound a few days a week. So we just fill it up with that and then it gets pumped with an, um, with a, what do you call it? Electric pump. It gets pumped up to that tank. And then from there, that's where it enters the house. So what are you eating? Is it sour? No, it's fine. Mm. It is so sour. What's wrong with you? There's our car shade. I know there's a lot of grasshoppers. Rabbit hutch. This is what the sweet potatoes are looking like. They have spread so much, I feel like they're gonna take over this whole area. But they used to be only like up to like right here. Now they've spread. But good sweet potatoes. And then the kids playhouse with the slide. Sandbox. What are you guys doing? Oh, cool. You're playing in the sand? The pigs are making a lot of noise right now because they're being about to be fed. So let's go over and catch the action. George is doing the feeding tonight. Some piglets. And then over here is like a kitchen garden. And it has a lot of stuff going on. I don't even really know what we've got going on over here right now, but it looks like some more sweet potatoes. Some maize, pumpkin. So yeah, we just use this as a kitchen garden and plant different things just throughout the different seasons. And then over here, it's, it's kind of messy around the compound right now because we have a lot of construction going on. So please excuse some of the mess, but this is like the newest, latest thing going on. So if you've been here for a while, 
you know this whole area looks different. This used to be a goat house. So this whole area right here was blocked off with like the backside of a goat house. But George decided that he wanted that deconstructed and then just have wire mesh put right here instead. Um, so we still have the goat and sheep houses. We only have one sheep right now. We, <laughs> we're we definitely going to add to our flock, but we just have one sheep over there. He's our favorite sheep. He's probably kind of lonely right now, but we will work on that. Um, but yeah, this was all deconstructed. I think yesterday was the day they put up this wire mesh. And then over here, we're having some cow sheds built so you can see there's like three stalls so we'll have some cows we'll probably just start with one um, but yeah there's some space George has just been wanting to add cows and we just love just mixed farming so time to add some cows to our farm okay now over here is our chill and grill area which the grass it's a different kind of grass over here than on the other side of the compound but it's also been coming in so nicely still has a little bit of some patches that need to fill in but it's coming in so nicely and uh yeah probably put like some picnic tables over here some hammocks be a really nice just relaxing place and a lot of shade um once these trees grow because there's some really tall trees that george has planted and they're growing nicely So yeah, there's a brief tour of the place. Um, that's what's going on over here right now. We have a lot of construction and a lot of cleaning up to do um, to get this place in tip top shape, but there's just always so many things going on and different projects and different things being deconstructed, reconstructed. But once everything is kind of cleaned up and we have this whole construction zone finished up, then um, I'll come back out here and give you guys an update. I'll just keep you updated on the place and things that we have going on. And just to keep you guys up to speed, I plan on uploading two videos per week. One midweek, either Tuesday, Wednesday, and then one on the weekend, like Friday, Saturday. So you guys can kind of be on the lookout for two vlogs from me, two videos, two uploads every week. And make sure you stay on the lookout for my next video because in that video, we're gonna share something really exciting. We have an exciting announcement to share with you guys. And there will be a coffee farm update. So you guys can see how the coffee trees are growing and that whole property that's full of coffee so I'm excited to update you guys on that. I'm excited to see it myself in person because we haven't been over there yet since we got back. But it feels so great being back and we love being here in the village. And thank you guys so much for tuning in and for being so supportive. Please subscribe if you're enjoying it here. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you very soon. Let's go see what the kids are doing real quick. Feast of a lifetime. Oh yeah. She's the he's the hungriest of them all. Chowing down. Hey, little baby. Mommy, is that party to the tell what the food tastes like? Give me he just eats and eats and eats. Yours doesn't have an appetite. Mine always has Mine an appetite. Mine is chowing down. London's always has an appetite. London's bunny. No, it's, it's, it's basically. I think Ned. it's not honey. <laughs> I mean, hungry because this it was just chowing feeds them. Hmm. Yeah. Where's yours, Lucas? <laughs> Say bye to the vlog. Bye. 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 See you next time. Look, bye. Bye. <laughs> Say bye, babe. Bye.